We are now joined with Heart Littell with Catholic Charities of Acadiana. We are partnering with them on Wednesday for a uh, donation drive for the victims of the Mississippi tornadoes a couple of weeks ago or almost a couple of weeks ago. And mm -hmm. Hart, what are we collecting to send out to these people in need? That's a great question and thanks for having me. Uh, so what we're collecting is actually a very specific list of items. The one thing we want to avoid is people sending, say, uh, um, a trash bag full of their grandmother's clothes to mm -hmm. people who don't necessarily need it. So we have very specific items such as uh, toiletries, hygiene kits, mm -hmm. uh, water's not needed at this time. Uh, we have some non-perishable food requests and the rest of our items can be found at catholiccharitiesacadiana.org. And we also have a, a flyer up there for you guys so you can take a look, take a screenshot of that if you need to. Uh, this will be happening most of the day on Wednesday. We'll wrap things up about 4 p.m. and we'll be out there with you guys. So we're excited to kind of help you guys. We'll be doing Acadiana Live out there at uh, the warehouse. Um, and uh, we just want to, what would you say to people to really encourage them? I know we all, we, we usually don't have trouble here in South Louisiana getting people to donate and help those in need, but to really get people out there to help these, these tornado survivors, what do you have to say? Yeah, it's a great question. I think the, the one way that I would rally support is just remember, mm -hmm. you know, the, the coast is so familiar with disaster. Uh, we get ravaged pretty frequently. Our spirit mm -hmm. stays somehow beautiful and alive and compassionate. And we just want to offer that to our brothers and sisters in Mississippi. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So just remember, remember what it feels like. Remember what it feels like to be alone, to be scared, to feel abandoned, and then suddenly the help comes, mm -hmm. and we want to we want to be that help from Southern Louisiana. Absolutely, and and we can surely do it. So let's get out there. Let's make our presence known on Wednesday. We'll be out there uh, reminding you guys to come and donate those items, and we'll remind you at the end of the show as well if you didn't get to see that graphic that we had on the screen for you. And while we have some time, just mm -hmm. a little more about Catholic Charities of Acadiana and all the great things that you guys are doing in the community and all the people you guys are helping. Yeah, we're, we're loving it over there. We have 13 different ministries, uh, and I say this fortunately and unfortunately, I'm only di the director of one of them, <laughs> uh, but I get to see the wonderful things they're doing. A lot of people being fed, housed, clothed through our, our programs, but for me, um, not only are we very active in the, the initial response for disaster, but we're very involved in a long-term recovery. So uh, even some people in Acadiana may have forgotten that we just had tornadoes in New Iberia mm -hmm. on uh, and December 14th was actually the touchdown spot. So just this morning, I was still calling plumbers and electricians, reminding them to get out there and hook our, our survivors up who are still struggling in the long-term effects. Mm -hmm. So uh, I can assure you that um, uh, oftentimes they feel understaffed and underfunded, mm -hmm. uh, but we're going to be there to the end. Catholic Charity is going to be there to the end for whoever uh, is surviving disaster. And I'm glad that you mentioned that too, because that just goes to show how you know, in, in an instant with it, something as quick as a tornado, how long it can take to recover. I mean, you're still helping people out in New Iberia that months ago were affected by, by the tornado. So that it's, it's just wild to think about. Uh, but we're glad to be able to help you guys out and help the, those in Mississippi this Wednesday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. That's 403 Ambassador Caffrey Parkway. There's a look at the list of items needed again, and we will give you guys a reminder at the end of the show today.